In Houston, James Shelton, Chief Investment Officer, Canale Trust. From the Chicago Merck, Mark Hawkinson, Senior VP of New Edge USA. Both of you are familiar with the credit markets. You work in the credit markets. I want to start with Mark and ask you about a piece I saw in the FT yesterday to the effect that European companies are having a hard time selling euro bonds and are now uh, issuing bonds denominated in dollars, so-called Yankee bonds, because it's easier for them to raise money in the U.S. Is that accurate? And if so, what the heck is going on? Where, where, I don't get it. Well, what we're seeing is we're, we're, that is accurate to some extent. What's happening is, is that the, the worldwide banks, you know, the subprime crisis is, is actually a worldwide issue. And all the foreign banks had a, had a very uh, large interest in the subprime issue. So you've, you're seeing credit tightness across the, across the spectrum worldwide. I mean, yeah, the Bank of Australia and Bank of New Zealand were having problems with the cr subprime crisis. So what's happening is demand for debt dries up and the credit market tightens up. They're willing to issue debt wherever there will be any type of demand. Right. And, and that's what they're doing right now. So there is some demand in the U.S.? Well, there is some demand, and it basically what you're, you're seeing is, is, is the, the investors and the people buying these bonds are definitely looking at the default risk of the issuer. Yep. And if you're seeing that the European companies have less default risk or look a little more solidly uh, as far as what, on their books, then there is demand there. It's very tepid demand at best, though. Okay. James, what's your view of the market these days? Well, we, th we think that investors are, are obviously trying to shun risk right now, uh, just flocking to the highest quality securities out there. The, the recent troubles in the municipal bond market are the latest example of that. Uh, we think that we're in a, a trading range environment here uh, where the market's probably not going to do a whole lot better uh, than up another 5% or so from here and probably down a little bit uh, from here. And, and then we just need to watch for signs of bottoming action. All right, so James, if you're looking at, obviously you've got to buy at all times, right? I mean, just to keep your portfolio in line with you know what you're promising investors so are you buying anything today well Aaron that's, that's a great question we, we actually uh, run very well diversified portfolios for our clients across a variety of asset classes and hoping to profit in good times and in bad but if, if you're just asking about equities uh, we are focusing in on just the highest quality large cap companies today uh, those companies that don't have to access the capital markets that have pretty much seized up for most borrowers out there Ben's got to wrap it up. Thank you, James Sheldon and Mark Hawkins.